안녕하세요 여러분. 저는 Russian K artist입니다. Hi everybody. So it's Russian K artist, and today I am painting this beautiful clock tree thingy, whatever. Um, so the reason that I wanted to go ahead and paint this was I actually okay. So my church was doing this thing in the beginning of the year where we basically like we pray and fast for a week and everybody has their own specific like they give each family like a specific hour to pray so that it's like a chain prayer thing going on until the week is over you know and those people the ones that fast on that day actually pray on that day and so that's typically how it goes um and so then they have church service twice a day every single day of the week as well, one in the morning and then one in the afternoon. And so my family tries to go to, you know, at least four of them, um, you know, because we're not going to go to every single one of them. That's way too many. We have to go to work as well and everything. So unfortunately, we're not able to go to all of them. Um, but so anyways, that's the whole thing. So there's the backstory. And so here comes the kind of why I decided to paint this clock tree thing um and stuff like that so <laughs> anyways um as i went to church on monday i was praying at church and i guess you could say it's almost kind of like it's not really like a vision but it was kind of just like a like a that picture of this clock tree just popped in my head and i thought oh my goodness lord i'm going to paint that but at first i didn't know exactly what i was going to do whether i was going to paint it or whether i was going to kind of do it on the tablet um or you know like a digital art piece but i'm not really good with digital art um i don't really mess around with it too much so i decided i was just going to paint it so here you go now you know the backstory of why i decided to paint this clock tree thing and where it came from and i have to say it turned out basically almost exactly as what my you know my thought of it was so it was pretty amazing i was just like wow lord thank you um so he's really blessed me with a talent of art um yeah so anyways there's the backstory and as i was you know praying about this and thinking about this drawing because i did not exactly paint it right away because this was done um that whole image of it came last month so I didn't paint it right away because there was just a lot going on and I was busy and stuff but every single time I kept thinking about it I always had this feeling of like the Lord kind of telling me that like this has kind of like a meaning meaning to it you know like you're never going to get the time back that you've wasted or um, time you know time is ticking time is valuable it's precious you know as the clock ticks, it's just going to keep ticking. You're never going to go back in time. You're never going to be able to take back any of that time that you've wasted. So always be vigilant and always be ready. And so I do actually have um, some verses prepared that I want to read. And honestly, I was going to prepare some other verses that I had in my head. I was like, oh my goodness, I feel like these ones would work perfect with this. But as I was trying to find those verses, I stumbled across two other verses that are completely different from what I wanted. And I think they fit even more perfectly. So God bless this video. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so anyways, I'm going to read from Mark chapter uh, 13, and this is verse 34 uh, until the end, so 34 to 37. The coming of the Son of Man can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. When he left home, he gave each of his servants, I mean, each, each of his slaves instructions about the work they were to do, and he told the gatekeeper to watch for his return. You too must keep watch, for you don't know when the master of the household will return, in the evening, at midnight, before dawn, or at daybreak. Don't let him find you sleeping when he arrives without warning. I say to you what I say to everyone watch for him the funny thing is is that i've been getting a lot of things lately about like time and time is running out and we have to be vigilant we have to be ready for god um, i keep getting more and more of these things this last month or so ever since i had this idea pop in my head this picture of the clock in my head um and i think it's just something that god really wanted to kind of have me illustrate and put out there um so i took a little bit of break here you know and then that's what it looks like at the moment. And then I was eating some salad too because, you know, I, I need to eat. Um, it took me about two weeks to actually paint this, so it didn't take me just a day. Um, it took me about two weeks because I'm not that great of an artist, but it, it takes me a while to paint something when other people can paint it really fast. Um, but anyways, moving on. So the other verse that I want to talk about as well, um, it is Luke chapter 12, verse 35 to 40. 
And yeah, be dressed for service and keep your lamps burning as though you were waiting for your master to return from the wedding feast. Then you will be ready to open the door and let him in the moment he arrives and knocks. The servants who are ready and waiting for his return will be rewarded. I tell you the truth, he himself will, will seat them, put on an apron, and serve them as they sit and eat. He may come in the middle of the night or just before dawn, but whenever he comes, he will reward the servants who are ready. Understand this, if a homeowner knew exactly when a burglar was coming, he would not permit his home to be broken into. You also must be ready all the time, for the Son of Man will come when least expected. Alright, and so those are the two verses that I thought honestly would fit very perfectly with this, and I feel like maybe, um, you know, you guys can take something from this video, and hopefully um, you guys kind of understand the reason of why I'm painting this and why I decided to make this video. We don't have a lot of time in this world. You're never going to get back any of the time that you've used, that you've wasted, that you've messed around with and so forth. But the time that you have right now is very valuable and it definitely should be used wisely. Um, and honestly, just be ready no matter where you where you go or what you do. Just make sure that you're all, always ready, that you're always praying, that you're always preparing your heart, you're always repenting from things, you're always... If you make a mistake in life, that's fine. Like, don't worry about it. Just you know, go back, prepare yourself again, get yourself right again. And it's the same thing I'm having like this. I'm doing, um, also like it, look at glows. It's really cool. Um, I'm doing this, mm, like kind of like almost like a diet thing. And I honestly have been failing so much with it, but you know what? I'm not gonna let it take me down. I'm just gonna start over or not even start. Over, I'm just gonna continue on where I'm at and keep going. And that's what we should do also in our walk with Christ. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys like this video. Subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Annyeong!